Good morning, everybody. I hope you are doing well. Yes, I've already drank quite a bit of this coffee. It's the day after Thanksgiving and we have a lot to be thankful for. And I figured that I should just kind of keep you guys up to speed with what's going on because we have some huge exciting news. Speaking of which, our sponsor, Ag Gear, is one of our fantastic sponsors and they have this beautiful brand new black hoodie out right now. You can go to their store. I'll put a link in the description below. Well, look who it is. We both look like our hoodies on today. Well, it is hoodie weather for sure. It's supposed to be raining. Um, it's supposed to be raining all weekend. So I figure while it was not raining, we should come out here and kind of give you guys oh, an update. Do what? It's kind of oh, it is kind of raining a little bit. All right, well, we better make this in a hurry. Now, if you've followed this channel for a while, you know that we have kind of bounced around uh, from barn to barn, place to place, and we are super excited to announce that we are gonna be finally getting our own barn. Uh, we've been working on this for a little bit, and it is finally coming to fruition. Four stalls right here in the back, which is gonna be back along this fence line. You can see the neighbors already have a barn. So we're gonna have the, the four stalls with a beautiful walkway in the middle. We've got a tack room and a feed room, um, which are both good. Everything's gonna be, you know, about 12 by 12, which is a good stall size. There is the right elevation, the left elevation, actually. Okay, so they did the elevation a little different. Anyways, this is gonna be the front and the back elevation. Here is the side elevations, and uh, we're gonna run with these stall fronts. So hopefully you can tell the house is back this way. Um, this corner will be, the if you're looking at it the left front corner and then the right front corner and then the back right and back left so it's going to run like this which is uh the perfect direction and then what we're probably going to do is have some turnouts up here next to the house and then what we we're talking about doing is actually building some sort of a bridge or walkway to some turnout areas out this way so it's a beautiful look um, it'll be beautiful to watch them uh you know be turned out from the house, from the porch area, with the beautiful pond next to it. I'm super excited. Me too, I'm cold. We have missed having the horses back, um, kind of in our backyard ever since we left the ranch. It was really nice to just wake up and look outside, look out your window and see the horses, walk down, feed them, and not have to travel 20 or 30 minutes to go feed, to go ride, all of that sort of good stuff. So I'm super excited to do this. Um, yeah, we've been, we've been planning and dreaming about having a barn at the house. No, it's you know not a massive barn, but it's exactly what we need to bring our horses home and to kind of keep doing what we're doing. So we're very, very thankful for that. You know, the beautiful thing about this area right here is that we can A, put the barn. We've got a bunch of turnout sections that we can kind of uh, strategically place them or rotate them around. And then we've even got a little bit of an area right here where we could put uh, either a small uh, riding arena or um, there's an area kind of up around the trees where we might be able to put a round pin. Um, there's plenty of things that we can do and kind of add on uh, gradually as we go. But the biggest thing that we need to do right now is to get the barn going um, because we really just want the horses at home. It makes life a lot easier. It makes going to practices much easier and kind of the whole um, experience a lot easier. As we're starting to train horses, um, we can have just kind of a central location for them. So one thing uh, that we should kind of clarify is that this is my in-laws, uh, Maddie's parents' property. Um, they are huge horse lovers and uh, have always liked having the horses at home. And so when we were kind of talking about where do we want to uh, build a barn, where do we want to buy a property, that sort of thing, uh, we just kind of came to the conclusion that this is the best spot for everybody in case uh, Maddie and I are out of town, they can feed. Um, they enjoy having the horses here and then it's just an absolutely beautiful piece of property so it works out for everybody and you know the dogs that love to run like crazy around here Bo get out of there well I don't think we got any hogs and I don't think we had any deer come in either not a threw some of the old pumpkins in there for the deer right here look so it's got this little nice job Bo. see you working over there so they they walk up through here and then the hogs they push it open but then they can't get back out 
but they ate everything they ate everything up to it and it's not as pretty as Kentucky but the Texas Hill Country is putting on a show with all of its fall and winter colors absolutely beautiful well there you have it everybody a short and sweet video just wanted to kind of keep you up to date as to our plans and what we're doing uh, we're super excited for this barn and this kind of next chapter in our horse uh, business um, I took the week off from roping just to, you know, have some time with family and friends for Thanksgiving, but uh, we'll be back at it next week, so y'all stay tuned.